All right, everybody. <clears throat> okay, so um, today what we're gonna do is our broiled salmon with um, a lemon tarragon orzo that's also gonna have uh, peas and uh, the grape tomatoes in it. So in your kit, which I gave you, you should have peas. Your tomatoes, um, I was gonna show you, I, you just wanna slice these um, about this big, you know, I don't know, about a quarter inch. So slice them all like that. Um, you got lemon, orzo, uh, shallots. This piece of tarragon, your shallot's gonna come whole. Um, I just want you to do a, a small dice, like a brunoise, like a little, you know, about an eighth inch dice of that. Um, orzo, which looks like rice, but it's actually pasta. A little bit of chicken stock. A piece of salmon, and that's all. So what we're gonna do first, um, when you broil, like you guys, we've learned about, it's when you put that in the oven, um, or if you have a broiler, you know, restaurant style, it's basically heat source from up above, all right? And it's gonna be extremely high heat. Um, when you put your oven on broil, it'll be between four and 500 degrees up top, depends on what type of oven it is and how old it is and all that good stuff. So, and you're gonna go the top rack, like directly underneath this, it's gonna cook really, really fast, all right? <clears throat> so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our orzo um, and then pop in our salmon after it's seasoned. Uh, so just to get pre prepped with this, go ahead and get your first burner on. Let me move this out of the way. First burner going. Um, slice up your vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and pick my cilantro. Or not my cilantro, I'm so sorry. Tarragon. Uh, my mind is not working. And then with this, just line it up. Um, make sure you, you, you cut it just before you use it because it's very delicate. And you just want to give this a quick little rough chop. Okay, so just cut it into little pieces. Um, oh, I love the smell of tarragon. It's like my favorite herb. It reminds me of culinary school because that's, you know, just a clean environment. Okay, um, <clears throat> to start out, a little extra virgin olive oil. Um, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna saute the shallot, toss, add the peas, toss, add the orzo, toss it. Um, go ahead and add the chicken stock, bring it up to a simmer, season, make just the seasoning of it, and uh, turn it down to about low and cover it, okay? And basically you're doing a two to one. Like I know this is pasta, but it's not like spaghetti. You're just gonna boil it in a pot of water and strain it out. This is gonna absorb all the liquid that we have. So that's kind of what we're going for. Get all your shallots in there. And if you guys want garlic or if you wanna season this different, go ahead. Um, I'm just doing it like this because I want you guys to get the fresh flavors of, of spring. Yeah, I'm not gonna go super crazy on it. And then you don't have to do super high heat with this because shallots will, will brown up really fast. All right, <clears throat> get a little color to those. And with the brunoise cut, it's very, very tiny. As you can see, this is very small diced. Um, so it's gonna cook quick. So go ahead and add your peas. Same thing, toss. We're not trying to get a whole lot of color on them. Um, the rice, or not the rice, the orzo, just go ahead and put it in there. Toss. Chicken stock. And we're gonna bring this up, and I want you to taste, to taste the, uh, the stock, okay? There's nothing bad in here. There's not like chicken juice or you know, any sort of blood or contaminants, you know, it's just vegetables, olive oil, and chicken stock. So once it comes up to a simmer, I want you to taste that broth because that's, ultimately, that's what the flavor of uh, your dish will have. And then we're gonna finish this all. I don't want you to put the uh, tarragon or the tomatoes in yet because it's gonna take, <clears throat> it's gonna break it down. I wanna put it in there so it's got a nice fresh taste to it. All right, so we're gonna let that go for a second. Let's go ahead, season, um, or put your fish in a, a small pan or your 
And then, okay, so this is the skin side. We want that skin side down. We're gonna keep that part up. Um, go ahead and drizzle with a little olive oil. All right, salt and pepper. You know, if you want anything else on it, be my guest. And that's all it really needs. So go ahead and put that in your broiler. Okay, so that's gonna take, I'm gonna say, we're gonna check it in about six to seven minutes. But the, the purpose of this whole process, once this comes up to a boil, this takes about six or seven minutes to cook all the way through. So that way, both are done at the same time. Okay, so you see I'm coming up to a simmer taste the bubbles, you know. Definitely needs salt. And remember, we're going to do um, some of that lemon over the rice, or yeah, I keep calling the rice, over the orzo and over the fish. So remember, that's going to be in there. So give that a stir. And then go ahead and cover it because you don't want to let that, you don't want that to escape, okay? So, we'll set a timer now. Let's go six minutes just to be safe. Oh, it's not working. Six minutes just to be safe. And then, uh, come on, timer. And then we'll check both of them at the same time. Okay? See you guys in a minute. 